Clint Hooks for reporting live for the Keep Times at Violet King Henry Plaza in downtown Edmonton. We were here yesterday for a different reason, but now we're here today to cover the Free Palestine rally that's going on just behind us. It just started a few moments ago. It opened with a prayer, and now a child is leading a chant. And we'll uh, see what's going to happen here today. We'll talk to a few folks and maybe some of the speakers. We are here to demand that this government ends its complicity in genocide. We are also here to support our students who are demanding that their universities disclose and divest from Israeli genocide and apartheid. The ICJ has issued a clear directive to halt all military operations in Rafah and to ensure the unimpeded delivery of humanitarian aid into Gaza. Justin Trudeau, after 232 days of live stream genocide, has finally said that Israel must halt its military operation in Rafah and that it must allow aid to flow freely and that Israel must allow international observers to, en to enter the Strip. It took an ICJ ruling, 232 days, and 35,000 Palestinians killed, including 15,000 children, and at least 8,000 Palestinians still missing under the rubble for them to make that statement. My friend Todd Bruner, in a guest post for albertapolitics.ca, wrote this week that a former third-party U.S. presidential candidate, Ralph Nader, estimated that the true number of Palestinians who have perished as early as March was close to 200,000. Right behind us is the Free Palestine March. They have a bunch of portable audio rigs on wheels, and they had a few guys handing out signs for everyone. There's some instruments, most of a drum kit near the front. And there's about 500 or so people involved. Could be more than that. The number seems to be growing a little bit as the march goes along. I'm here today with? Uh, Gada. And what brings you here today? Uh, of course, Palestine. I'm Palestinian though. Oh, you are? Yeah. Are you uh, from Palestine yourself? Yes. And so, if you had a message to the Canadian government, what would that message be? Please stop arming Israel and stop genocide. You can do it. Canada, just sing through the please. Listen to us. And do you have a message for Canadians in general? No, the Canadians are supporting uh, Palestinians' uh, cause. So they're keeping the good job there. I'm here today with... Jessica. What brings you here today? Uh, we're here to walk with our Palestinian friends. If you had a message to our provincial or federal government today, what would that be? Uh, stop supporting genocide. And what brings you here today, sir? Because uh, there's uh, innocent people killing over there in Gaza, and um, injustice, and uh, like uh, humanitarian disaster over there. So that's why we're here to protest for that thing. Fair enough. And if there was a message you had to the federal or provincial government of Canada, what would it be? Uh, stop supporting the genocide in Gaza and be the people who are right. They have their own land over there, so they, they have right to live over there. They have life, uh, right to like uh, um, have their own uh, state. So there should be only two-state solution for that, so they can live beside each other. That is my best. I'm here today with Eric Klein. And what brings you here today, Eric? Uh, I'm an ex labor activist and Metis, and uh, although I don't know the details to the struggle with Palestine, I am aware that. It's a uh, genocide. It's, it's almost like what they're trying to do what they did to the indigenous. And uh, yeah, I'm here to give them support. And so you, you have a sign here. Uh, yeah, someone gave me the sign. I was actually thinking of making one myself. Um, he's a little too far right wing, <laughs> a little crazy. So, Mr. Netanyahu? Yeah, I call him Netanyahu, so he's a nutter. 
my opinion. So. Fair enough. And do you have any message for the Canadian government or the Canadian people regarding this issue? Oh, man. <laughs> it's not like it hasn't already been said. I mean, stop the genocide, start, stop funding stuff like that, stop sending arms. And uh, <laughs> they, they also mentioned it too, same with tre uh, Treaty 6, Truth and Reconciliation. It seems to be more talk than do. So the government's just got to get off their butt and start doing the right thing.